Hi, welcome to Bad Movie Reviews. Of a lost species, a link between man and beast. Animated films have a bit of an extra struggle. They're largely marketed toward children and must connect to that audience while still also appealing to the parents or guardians who look for great animation, a unique and entertaining story, and something to keep them engaged as well. Leica has had success in reaching both younger and older audiences with its previous films but their latest, while just as beautiful in animation style as its predecessors, seems saddled with an overwhelmingly monotonous story and lifeless humor, with little entertainment for either generation. Meet Mr. Link Writer-director Chris Butler excels in his decision to direct the story with gorgeous, bright bold colors but seems to flounder in telling his story in a way that resonates for children and adults. His script seems aimed at elementary school-aged children, with light-hearted and easy humor, but it fails to hold interest beyond a few scenes. Here I think it's, it's, a, it's a little deceptive, it can be frustrating. As a parent, my problem with this kind of writing style is that it sacrifices story and entertainment by forgetting that children, especially modern children, are intelligent enough to grasp more complete narratives, they can sit through a film that is witty enough to amuse adults just as much as it does kids. It's a unique balance, granted, but it wasn't met here. This movie has Hugh Jackman, Zach Galifianakis, Zoe Saldana, and Stephen Fry. Ultimately, none of these talented actors rise above the dull script. Missing Link is all too aptly titled, there's a connection that's just not there. Ever since it first arrived on the scene with 2009's Coraline, Leica has been shown considerable love by those taken with the outfit's irresistible combination of eye-catching, state-of-the-art stop-motion animation and innovative, imaginative storytelling. That brand affection will likely be put to the test with the studio's fifth release, Missing Link, a globe-trotting Victorian-era adventure that, while often a magnificent sight to behold, never goes the distance in terms of engaging characters and involving plotting. No man, but a giant. He's had many names. Actually, I go by Susan. Additionally frustrating matters is the artistic decision to combine the heavily stylized humans and animals with photoreal elements like fabrics and weaponry, which, while making a bold statement, can also be jarringly distracting. The end result? especially coming after 2016's highly rewarding Cuba and the Two Strings, can't help but feel like a letdown. Kind, but on the other side of the world, they talk of this creature, the Yeti. I think these Yetis are my cousins. Missing Link is a journey of self-acceptance that feels like a dictated lesson learned rather than a poignant one earned, one which mechanically travels from point to point without ever building emotionally. Problematic too is a dryly British comedic sense that finds Mr. Link sharing with Paddington Bear a very literal leaning sense of humor that can make following simple instructions at times calamitous. But there's a hit and miss quality to the antics here that often land with a thud. No profile. <gasps> um... A monster! One wishes the script might have shared the degree of precision that has obviously been applied to the technical side of the production which is resplendent in visual dazzle. Incorporating a new color 3D printing technology allowing for the creation of complete individual animated facial performances, the production exhibits intriguing possibilities despite a few glaringly CG patches, especially when depicted in close-up. But while the energetic cast gamely play their parts, Missing Link ultimately fails to make a credible connection. We call it. What does it mean? Keep out, we hate you. 